So if you are familiar with Final Cut Pro, it is well known that there are certain limitations when using drop zones and Motion VFX offering so many different templates and modular templates that use drop zones, we thought maybe it would be a good idea to just talk about these limitations a little bit and some workarounds. So for instance, a lot of people may want to use a video clip within a drop zone that has audio and as many of you know, drop zones cannot hold audio. So here is a quick and simple way on how to fix that. So we're looking at Project 1665, and this is part two. This is a modular template. You can see some text is coming through, and then we have our drop zone here. So we can see that our drop zone starts by using our arrow keys right around 308. So here's how you are going to add that audio in. We have a clip here. I'm going to just drag it in on top and we can see that we've got several takes of audio happening. I'm just going to use this first one here. Let me click it so you can see what's going on. Here's how to add audio in a drop zone. Great, so this is the clip we want to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit B and I'm going to delete this amount of footage on the back end and let's do a super quick color so that we can get a little bit of contrast on this clip there and a little bit of saturation boom there we go so now i'm going to press v to disable this clip let's use our arrows once again to just skip through and we know that at 308 is where our drop zone starts i'm going to highlight my title there let's tap m and we've set a marker, perfect. So we know that our audio needs to start right here at the marker. So I'm going to pick up my clip and I'm going to set my audio to start right at our marker here. And then I'm going to just drag it beneath my title for simplicity. The next thing we need to do is go over to our solids in generators we'll just type in custom for custom solid and we're going to bring this in tap b and trim it back so that we now have a clip that is going for the duration until we see that first drop zone here all right perfect i'm going to highlight both of my clips press option g and we are creating a compound clip here. So this says how to add audio in a drop zone. Click OK. Now when we go in our inspector over into our title, we can select our drop zone and we are going to select it at the very beginning of that compound clip. Now we're doing this because the drop zone is taking into account where it is on that timeline as far as the amount of time that it takes to start playing the video. So we know that we are going for, I'm gonna go ahead and click apply clip. We know that we are going for three seconds and eight frames until a video comes in. And then you should see, here's how to add audio in a drop zone. You can kind of read what I'm saying there. I'm going to go in and for uh, simplicity sake, let's just go ahead and bring the opacity down. This way, if this were a title, no opacity or anything is happening, but our audio should line up perfectly now being beneath that clip with our drop zone. Let's take a look. Here's how to add audio in a drop zone. Now, if we were to disable this clip by tapping V, you will see that it is only going to play without our audio. So it's silent. So we need that clip beneath holding the audio that is going to line up perfectly with our marker there. So let's tap V again and I can show you one more time. Here's how to add audio in a drop zone. And there you have it. This is how you can add audio in a drop zone quickly and easily. All right, and there you have it. That is how to quickly and easily add audio to your drop zones when you're using templates and modular templates from Motion VFX. Again, this is George Edmondson. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.